steps to uh, go ahead and transcribe a recording that I took with my iPhone using Microsoft Word. I will include these directions with the links to more specific instructions in the email that you get this recording with. So uh, first off, uh, our district does pay for the Outlook suite, so we get access to the Microsoft Office suite. Um, you're going to need access to Microsoft Word. I don't think that this particular feature has made it over to Google Docs yet, um, but they do have a transcribe feature. And what I mean is uh, here where it's, uh, it says dictate, um, if you click dictate, it will simply begin typing out anything you say, which is a fantastic feature that, you know, it's been a sort of um, around for a while, but it's gotten better and better, and now it's built into Word. It used to be you had to buy some very expensive software to do this. Well, enough of that. I'm going to go ahead and erase that. If you click the Chevron next to Dictate, it's going to open up another uh, option. If you click Transcribe, it'll open up a menu to the right. If you notice, it defaults to English. You can uh, obviously change that to whatever language the recording's in. You can start recording simply by clicking Start Recording. If you want to just uh, skip the iPhone step and record directly into your computer, I think that works mostly for like maybe a two-person conversation. Um, I, I prefer using my phone because it, it gets you uh, a more widespread recording angle, so you can get more voices. Uh, but I've already have a file downloaded into my downloads folder. If I click upload audio, uh, it defaults to my downloads folder. I named it Stagecoach uh, DR and it's three. I had another recording that I was playing around with that uh, was tagged at Desert Pride Academy when I was there. But if I click this and open, you'll see that it begins uploading to OneDrive. And it starts out slow, but as you can see, it goes very quickly. We're already pretty much at 50% in a matter of seconds. While it's uploading, uh, let me tell you why I think this is super um, useful. I've been using ChatGPT a lot lately and I have to create copy or scripts and I can take a conversation that I have with somebody, record it, and then have ChatGPT write a script for me. So. Uh, it didn't even give me enough time to describe how I'm going to use this, but trust me, I am going to use this. Now, you can individually peck and enter uh, sections of text, which is kind of cool. Um, I, I, so if I click here, um, if you notice, I have, uh, it, it not only timestamps it, but it also tells you who's speaking. So it, it'll, it'll, if you're a four person conversation, It'll break it up into speaker one, two, three, and four. As you can see here, speaker one uh, was one of our board members. Uh, speaker two, I happen to know, was uh, Mr. Dempsey, who uh, was who said word for word exactly what is listed here. And then we have speaker three, um, and and further on, I think yeah, there's speaker four. So it recognizes different voices and breaks them up and names them that. So you can add individual phrases. So watch what I do when I hit the plus sign. Well, it now is part of my Word document. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo it. Oh, yep, there we go. Uh, because there's got to be an easier way, right? I mean, I am obviously uh, want to add all of it. So simply down here, add to document, you have some choices. You can add with the timestamps or with just speakers. I like just speakers. I don't need the timestamps. Uh, and that's it. The entire uh, audio file, which I can play a little bit of it for you. Let me scrub. Thank you so much for young age. When I hired on in the district just a few years ago, Miss Santiano was working as a health assistant, and she had been recently hired. So that is our director of nursing, uh, uh, Judy Cregan, uh, talking about two fantastic nurses in the district. But anyway, so I now have a transcript that I can um, import. And I think I'm going to do that, try to skip the title at the top. And I'm going to copy it. And now I'm going to ask uh, ChatGPT, um, please. Uh, 
pretend I can type. And I'm going to hit enter. And in a matter of seconds, uh, as we've all become accustomed, uh, it's done. Uh, so it is, let's see here. Here is my summary. Of course, I always have a notepad handy um, so that I can and during the, Gad Gad the Gadsden ISD board meeting, several speakers addressed various topics. The first speaker expressed gratitude for a presentation involving young girls dancing and for the hospitality of, and I cannot believe it nailed even Bedino Elementary, which is not a common word. Uh, second speaker introduced an employee recognition segment, Ms. Cregan, presenting two outstanding nurses. It nailed the spelling and nailed the last name. And these are not easy. I mean, they're not very super common names. Um, but that's it. I mean, it's it's like magic. So I, I hope this is useful. Uh, let me know if, uh, if you have any questions.